All right, we're moving on everybody. Now I'm gonna show you how we can insert documents into a MongoDB database. Let's be sure that we're using our current database. In the last topic, we were using the database of school. Let's clear our screen. To insert a document within the database we're working with, type DB, then the name of a collection if a collection is found within this database. We have created a collection of students. If this collection doesn't exist, one will be created for you. db.students. We will use the insert one method. Within the set of parentheses, we will place a document which is enclosed within a set of curly braces. Within the set of curly braces, we can list as many field value pairs as we would like. Let's create a name field with the value of SpongeBob. Each field value pair is comma separated. Let's add another field value pair, maybe an age. Age will be 30, then a GPA, grade point average. SpongeBob has a solid 3.2 GPA. Let's enter this command. That was acknowledged. To return all documents within a collection, type DB, the name of the collection, in this case students, dot, we can use the find method. Here are the current documents within my collection. We only have one. Here's the object ID that's created automatically. The name is SpongeBob, age 30, GPA 3.2. Now you can insert more than one document at a time by using the insert many function. DB, type the name of the collection, students in this case. We will insert many documents. We will place all documents to be inserted within an array. Add a set of straight brackets. This is the exact same kind of array from different programming languages. However, in Python, I think that would be a list technically. Maybe we need to insert three documents. We would need three sets of curly braces, each comma separated. Within each set of curly braces, we would list all of the different field value pairs. So let's begin with the first. We have name, Patrick, Separate each field value pair with a comma. Then we have age of, let's make Patrick 38. Then GPA. Patrick is at 1.5. That's enough for our first document. Let's go to the second document. Move over to the second set of curly braces. For the name, this will be Sandy. Sandy's age is... I don't know, 27 sounds good. GPA, Sandy Smart, she has a solid 4.0. Then let's go to the last document. Name, maybe Gary. Gary's age is 18. GPA, 2.5. That's good enough for now. This array contains several documents. Each document is enclosed within a set of curly braces. Within each document, you can have as many field value pairs as you like. They all don't need to be consistent. Let's insert all of these documents. They were all acknowledged. We have three new object ideas. Let's use the find method again to display all of them. db.students.find. Here are the four objects found within our database. SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Gary. That's how to insert documents using the shell. Next, we'll do the same thing, but use compass instead. If you're using compass, here's how to insert documents into a collection. Here are the four documents we created previously. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. To add a new document, make sure you're within the current database you're working with. Go to the current collection, ours is students. We will add data. You can import a JSON or CSV file or you can type them manually by inserting document. A document is pre-generated for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. We'll begin by inserting SpongeBob. You need a set of curly braces, then list all of the name value pairs, name SpongeBob, separate each field value pair with a comma, age 30, GPA 3.2. If you have this warning, you will need to probably hit the format button. That should go away. Then insert. And that is how to insert one document. To insert many, it's the same process as before. 
but you're going to enclose all of your documents within an array, a set of straight brackets. So if we need three documents, add three sets of curly braces, all comma separated. We had Patrick. Age, I think he was 38. GPA, 1.5. Name, Sandy. Age, 27. I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see. GPA, 4.0. Then name, Gary. Age, 18. GPA, 2.5. Let's reformat, insert, and here are the three documents we have inserted. All right, and that is how to insert documents into a MongoDB database using Compass.